Hello. Today we are going to discuss about semi-automatic classification plugin in QGIS environment. So friends, you may know that classification of remote sensing image is very first step in geospatial analysis. Classification is nothing but the extraction of land cover information from the image by using certain kind of methods. There are basically two methods of classification. First one is the visual classification and second one is the digital classification. So friends, within the digital classification, there are two other methods that are incorporated incorporated in digital classification. First one is the supervised classification and second one is the unsupervised classification. So friends, with the help of plugin in QGIS environment entitled as let it become semi-automatic classification plugin. With this plugin, we could classify, we could do image processing in QGIS environment. This is the plugin that you can install by using this install and plugin option. I have already installed that, so I'm not going to reinstall it. So friends, by installing this plugin, it will appear in this main interface. This is the basic toolbar of this plugin and this is the main semi-automatic classification plugin dock that you have to set anywhere here on this screen. I have settled it here in the layer or browser option screen. So with the help of this plugin, we can do image processing. Let me introduce this first of all. You can select the main options of this plugin from this point, this yellow plus option is given here. This symbol is for the highlighting this processes that we need to know while dealing with the remote sensing image processing. Here is the small icons that similar icons are showing these similar functions. By clicking this, you can select this window for further analysis. Let me first of all introduce the number of processes or options that have been incorporated in the semi-automatic classification plugin. First option is the band set. Here we have to select the processing data that we need to. Suppose I, I have one example for you for this demonstration purpose. Suppose at that. This is the Landsat data of my study region. I have imported this in this particular plugin. So friends, with the help of this data set plugin, we can import such kind of data. Here you have to select the, here we are having number of satellite sensors that you can choose. This is the Landsat 8 OLI data set. That's why I am going to select this. Automatically, it will select 
this wavelength unit will be selected and you can create FCC by using these below given option create virtual raster create create a raster of band set stack band stack option is there so with the help of this we can create false color composite it is already false color composite image so we will see this then band tools uh, basic tools are there where you can create rgb algorithm band width band width that you can set multiple roi creation region of interest that you can create for supervised classification import signature if you are having already signature file that you can import by using this option or you can import UAGS library or aster library text csv file by using this option export signatures that you can export by using this export signature option in the form of a cpc shape file or comma separated value signature thresholding that is also possible as well as land land cover classification thresholding is also possible here then here is the option that i would like to introduce for you this option is for downloading desired data set so friends with the help of this url you can download login first of all you can login for ers uags website or you can login art data nasa website for downloading data as well as you can login for science hub copernicus web browser for getting the sentinel image so you can search here by using search option product sentinel or landsat or aster modis whatever you require and download option is here these kind of data set and bands that you could download by using this option of downloading then you can pre-process downloaded database brightness temperatures landsat for landsat brightness temperature as well as applied dos one atmospheric correction all these all kind of things that you can do by providing certain kind of required information about database and you can compute the uh, TOE top of atmospheric reflectance and other things here is the sentinel 2 sentinel 3 aster modis vector to raster conversion clip multiple rasters if you are having multiple bands and you have to clip or extract the study area that you can do split raster bands if you are having the stacked bands uh, that or you want to split that raster band that is also possible as well as raster band, stack raster bands that is also possible as well as mosaicing band set that is also possible here by using all these options then band processing option is there band combination principal component analysis suppose you want to do principal component analysis for the selected data set that you can do clustering that that is also known as unsupervised classification by selecting the band set that you have imported here 
with the help of this band set you can set distance thresholding you can use k-min or iso data clustering number of classes that you can assign here according to the band number of bands that you are going to process on the basis of that you can assign maximum maximum number of classes as well as how many number of iterations that you wish to run by the software that is also given here you can assign this and these are the signatures if you are you wish to do you wish to assign this you wish to apply this that is also possible and you have to just click this run option we will see later then spectral distance select a first input band and by second input band that if you are having two band sets then you can calculate spectral distance of uh, by using minimum distance or spectral angle mapping that is also possible then you can do accuracy assessment land cover change by selecting reference classification image and select new classification image that with the help of these two images we can do land cover change classification report we can generate classification report class cross classification class class signature classification to vector that is also possible as well as reclassification is also possible with the help of this option then band calculation here we are having the option to uh, subtract add or do uh, logarithmic classification logarithmic operations any kind of thing that you can do by using this index calculator suppose somebody wants to do uh, ndvi analysis so we need two bands nir and r band or uh, near infrared band uh, and red band and by uh, addition subtraction and division option that is given here we can compute land uh, in the normalized difference vegetation index then we are having batch setting you can do certain kind of settings for your analysis uh, as well as you can use this user manual for the for understanding this uh, software as well as you are having this online help op option for the analysis or further processing so this is the complete package of uh, uh, remote sensing image processing in QGS environment you may know that if we want to classify the image there are basically two most favorable softwares that are known as edas imagine and uh, nv but these softwares are proprietary softwares and uh, we have to pay for that but uh, this option this plugin is completely freely available for further analysis of uh, image any image that you can process so friends as this way we can conclude that this is the better option to do image processing thank you for watching my video